That's a real nice velvet panel you got there. It would be a real shame if something happened to it. Now you have to admit, that was some fine Pixar level CGI. But on to the artwork. Here I am, I'm uh, making a present for my dear friend Messina for their birthday. I really didn't know what to get, so I thought everybody likes some art. In fact, uh, Messina and their spouse have a uh, art wall in their house of uh, all Jason Brownkowski art. Actually, this is the first Jason Brownkowski piece. Uh, it was formerly Jason Brown before I got married. So Brown is my maiden name. Brownkowski is my current name. <laughs> ah, here we go. We're painting this thing. It's a frog. The one thing I know is that Messina loves purple. So I wanted to incorporate some purple, even though it looks a little pink here uh, in the uh, in the video. I'm just laying in, you know, on this velvet panel that I made out of some scrap wood and that uh, velvet that I've been using for everything else. It's a nice hard uh, background for it. Uh, I added some mounting hardware on the back and, uh, yeah, stretched the velvet around to the corner, stapled it in, and got to painting. Uh, the cool thing I like about black velvet painting is just kind of drawing the shadows out of the background. I'm pretty new at it, and so uh, you know, I'll probably get better as I go out about uh, maintaining the shadows as they build out of the background. But yeah, uh, just going and building those different layers of color now, you know, making interesting green out of that initial teal and adding yellow over the top to just kind of make it a more vibrant green. That's one of my favorite things about painting is just building layers of color to uh, just make vibrancy and, and new colors. Instead of mixing on the palette, a lot of times I prefer to mix on the surface just with thin layers of uh, building up color. So now the hat's looking a little bit more purple. We've got some blue in the shadow back there. And uh, yeah, just reloading my very, very messy palette. Put some lighter blue there in the sky and kind of maintain that dark outline around the hat just to uh, get some cool colors up top because the ground was so warm and just hitting all sides of the painting and adding some finishing touches there. I, you saw I had my phone out earlier for some photo reference. I looked up frog eyes and uh, you know just kind of picked the theme with those horizontal pupils and kind of the, the orangish rays coming out around side. And we'll just do some random highlights and drop in a few Magico stars. Messina received it the other day and loved it. Bye.